Hello, this is Erin from Juniper and Oaks, and I am a crochet pattern designer. I design a lot of home decor items that have a lot of really intricate stitches and really cool stitches. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel so you can get to know more about me, check out my videos, and please hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever I release any other yarn-related content. But today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make the plus side ornament bobble. This is a Christmas tree ornament that we are going to be crocheting around a, a 2.56 inch bobble. I got these clear plastic bobbles from Hobby Lobby because that's nearby my house. You can probably get these at Michael's or Joann's or any craft store, any Christmas store. These are plastic and uh, they are 2.65 inches. Uh, and I think this is the diameter. Uh, the circumference will measure a little bit different. Let me just take my tech measure and we'll just measure this right here. We go around. Uh, yeah, they're like eight and a half inches around. Um, but then the diameter, you know, from here to here is uh, not quite. It's like two and a half inches, uh, 2.56 inches. So that's what these are. And then in centimeters, that's 6.7 centimeters in diameter. Okay. So I have a series of tutorials that I'll be doing using uh, this size bobble. So what we're going to do is we're going to work up the bulk of it uh, by itself. And then we're going to add in the bobble and finish crocheting around. This pattern is called the plus side uh, bobble ornament, and it is using overlay mosaic crochet technique. If you're not familiar with overlay mosaic crochet, it is a technique where you um, create some pretty intricate patterns and designs, but you're really only using one color at a time. Um, so there's no real color work in here. And you're also only using two different kinds of stitches. You're using a back loop only single crochet. And then you're doing like a drop down double crochet. You're doing a front loop only double crochet using the front loops that you skipped uh, when you did your back loop single crochet, if that makes sense. So we're going like to get this white here. We are doing um, this is a back loop only single crochet, back loop only single crochet. And here's a front loop only double crochet, but instead of working you know, in the red, we're going to be dropping down and grabbing the loop that's left over, the front loop that's left over from crocheting in the back loop before. You're going to grab that, like if those worked here, I would just like grab this loop and um, with a double crochet, if that makes any sense. If you are not familiar uh, with the technique. If you want to learn more, I do have a tutorial on mosaic crochet basics, overlay mosaic crochet basics. There are other kinds of mosaic crochet, um, but for this uh, pattern I'm using overlay mosaic crochet. Uh, the plus side pattern was the basis for one of the sections of my monthly mosaic mystery cow, a blanket cow that I ran in 2022, where each month a different section of the um, of a blanket was released month by month um, in its overlay mosaic crochet. So this was the basic basis of the, I think it was the August section, the plus side, and I thought this would make a cute little Scandinavian Christmas ornament. So that is what I've done here to work this up for you. So what you're going to need is you're just going to need some scraps of yarn. Uh, these are uh, Wander acrylic yarn from Furl's Crochet. I had some left over from my uh, granny's four square pillow. And then you're going to need a hook. Um, I used a size H hook. And this is a, once again, this is a furls crochet hook. Apparently I'm, uh, I'm loving the furls today. And I just like this yarn and I thought this would look like pretty Christmassy colors. Um, this is a size H hook five millimeter hook from Furls Crochet. It's called the Odyssey. Um, Furls did give me this hook to use for my winter projects this year. Um, I just really like the Odyssey hooks. This is nickel up here 
and I think this is probably, I'm not sure if this is made out of resin or something, but they have lots of different colors and the, um, the way that the yarn slides over this metal hook is just really lovely and so I like it and I'm thankful that they sent me this hook. Uh, anyway, so I've been told that I think I crochet a bit tight. Um, one of my testers had to go down to a 3.75 hook in order to make this work just right. Um, anyway, I'm not really sure. <laughs> what you're going to want to do is just uh, check check fit around your plastic bobble as you're making these. And if you need to, you can decrease uh, your hook size in order to make it work. These are fairly easy to work up. So if, if it's not fitting around your bobble, you can either find a bigger bobble or go down a hook size. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Let's get started with the pattern. If you click the Click the link below, you'll be taken to the pattern, the blog post with my pattern, which includes the written instructions. And I've also included a chart for you um, to show you on the video. Here is the chart that's included. And we start this, I think, uh, row five is where we start the chart. Um, so you'll work up the written instructions until row five. If you want to keep on looking up the written instructions, those are included as well. But starting row five is when we start with the chart. And any empty box, if it's white or black, is a single crochet in the back loop only. And you are just using whatever color uh, that row calls for. So row five is using color B, row six is using color A. So if the box is black or white with no X's in it, it's just back loop only single crochet using color B. And here on row six, you notice we start having some X's. So with color A, this is back loop only single crochet, but this is the front loop only double crochet where we're working down below into row four. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start the row and we're gonna chain one with that color. And then we're going to slip stitch up to that chain one at the end um, for our border stitch. If you're familiar at all with any of my patterns, you know that usually this is like a beginning border stitch and this is my ending border stitch. But for the sake of these patterns worked in the round, uh, the beginning border stitch is just a chain one with that color. And then uh, the ending is just the slip stitch to join. Okay? So click down below um, to get the pattern and uh, let's get started. Okay. For this sample that I made, uh, this was just some scraps of, oh, I think it was either Bravo Worsted or um, Vanna's Choice yarn. Um, but color A was my red and color B is my white. I'm going to switch things up and I hope I don't confuse you very much, but I'm going to be using kind of this creamy color um, for my color A. And then for color B, I'm going to use this green. I think this is called Meadow. Um, but I'll put links to my hook and yarn down below. Anyway, so with your color A, I'm going, you're going to make a magic circle. And then nine single crochets inside the magic circle. And two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we're going to pull that tight. And then I'm going to come over here and do a slip stitch to that first one to join. See, I do kind of crochet tight, don't I? It's 
slip stitch to join. Okay, I'm not gonna turn, I'm just gonna keep on going. And for round two, I'm gonna chain one. And I'm gonna be doing two single crochets in each of those stitches. Um, and then doing a slip stitch to join. So here we have nine single crochets. And so at the end of this row, I'm going to have 18 single crochet. Okay, so in that first stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. My yarn's kind of splitting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do, do, do. Those knots always come undone, you just have to work them a little bit. Okay. Eighteen. Okay, so I'm going to do a slip stitch to that first stitch to join, and we're ready for round three. I'm going to chain one, and I'm not going to turn. And uh, in this first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet, and then in the next stitch, one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do two. In the next single crochet. So what we're doing all the way around is increase, then single crochet, then increase, then single crochet. And in the end, we're going to have 27 stitches. So two singles, one single, then two singles, then one single. all the way around until we are at the end and we should have 27 stitches. Seven stitches. Okay, at these beginning parts, I kind of notice that sometimes I get these little wavies, and if that happens to you, um, it's okay. When we go over this bobble, it'll kind of even itself out. At least that's what it's been like in my experience. Okay, so 27 stitches, and then we're going to slip stitch to join. Round four, we are going to do um, an increase and then single crochet in the next two stitches. Um, well, first we chain one, and then in the first stitch we do two single crochets. So that's called your increase. One, two, and then in the next two stitches you just do one. One, one. One, two, three, four. 
True. Four. Again, we're doing two single crochets and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. There's stitch number 36 of round four. And then we're going to slip stitch to join. Okay, so like I said, here's we have a little bit wavy, but in my experience, it'll just even itself out here. That about equals the same size. Okay, uh, I don't know why I have scissors here because I am not going to fasten off right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is for round five, you're going to switch to your color B. You don't need to fasten off. Um, I need a knot right there. We're not going to fasten off. Instead, you just take your color B. And you connect it and do a chain one. Okay. And we're just gonna on the wrong side, just gonna drop the color A back there and then continue on. So with color five, uh, with and round five, color B, you've done a chain one, and now we're going to do a back loop only in each stitch. If you have the chart on my website. This is where we start the chart. Okay, we're just doing a back loop only single crochet in every stitch around. Something funky going on this going on with this yarn right here. It doesn't mess me up too bad. Okay, so there we go. There's our last stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch here to that chain one Oop. to join. I do crochet pretty tight. Oop. Okay, slip stitch to join. Then we're going to drop that color B and pick color A back up. Okay. I think I could do my slip stitches a little bit different in order to help it not be so wonky, but yeah, it's just it, isn't it? Okay. So now we're moving on to round six with our color A. We did our chain one. And now we're going to have a little six stitch repeat. Uh, sorry. The whole chart is a six stitch repeat, but for right now we're going to do a three stitch. So in our first stitch, we're going to do a back loop only single crochet. And then here's where we do where our fun overlay mosaic kind of comes into play. So we did our back loop only single crochet in that first stitch. And then in the next two stitches, we're going to do our front loop only double crochet. 
So for double crochet, we're going to yarn over and you kind of have to line up your stitches a little bit. Instead of going into this, uh, instead of going to the front loop here, we're going to drop down and then into our color A right here. You find that stitch and you do a double crochet in that front loop. You're going to do that twice. Front loop. Okay. And then you're going to repeat that back loop only single crochet. And then front loop only double crochet. You do two of those. Okay. And you find your next stitch and you do a back loop only single crochet. And you do a front loop only double crochet the next two stitches. Okay, you're going to do that all the way around. Back loop only single. Just make sure that, so this front loop right here, that's for that stitch you just did. You find your next stitch and go down and that's where your front loop is, right under that one. Do that twice. Then back loop single, front loop double, front loop double. Okay, here's this last stitch here. And then we're going to slip stitch to join. If you want, what you can do is insert your hook and then with your color B, pick up your color B. And I think that helps with the color change a little bit better. And then you chain one. Right now we have this big gap here and I think uh, doing it this way will help with that. Sorry, I didn't introduce that earlier. It kind of slipped my mind. Okay, so that was round six. For all of these rounds, you see how my, uh, sorry, you see how my wavy wavies is kind of disappearing. So I told you you would just kind of wouldn't really be able to tell later. So for rounds 46, through 14, you're going to be having 36 stitches and just the type of stitches is going to change. So for round six, you had 12 back loop only single crochets and you can kind of count your uh, little empty spaces here. And then you had 24 front loop only double crochets. So now we're moving on to round seven with our color B. We switched colors and we chained one. Now this is, we're gonna have six stitch repeat. The first stitch is going to be front loop only, double crochet. And you'll be able to find that by it's that uh, empty space here. So you see now, since we did a back loop only single crochet right above here, that left this front loop available for us to grab. I go in from the bottom and grab up and do a double crochet. So the first stitch is a double crochet. And then you're going to do five back loop only single crochets. You'll notice we're going to skip over one of these um, front loops. That's okay. We're just going to add like a little, just a little snowflake or something. You know, just a little polka dot in between there. I'm gonna skip over that and we're doing five back loop only single crochets. Okay. 
Okay, and then you're just going to start that over. So I'm going to do a front loop only double crochet in that next available spot. And you'll notice here, like I can't do a front loop only double crochet here because there's no space for me to crab on. So you just know you're going to do a back loop only single crochet. Okay, we're going to skip over that space and keep on doing our back loop only single crochet. And here we're going to start again with our front loop only single, I mean front loop only double, <laughs> excuse me, and then five back loop singles. Front loop double. Back loop single. Front loop double. Remember these are American US terms. Five back loop singles. Yep. Front loop double. Back loop singles. Got a weird batch of yarn here. Let's see. I could choose to cut that off, but I'm just not going to. Because I'm sure my yarn will get caught on my Christmas trees. Anyways. Maybe if I was giving this as a gift, I would change it, but I'm not going to. You guys might know me already by now. To know I just don't really care about stuff like that. Okay. I feel like crochet is just a handmade business and you get what you get sometimes. So here, instead of doing a front loop double, we're at the end of our counts here. And so I'm going to go in here, do a slip stitch. Oop. Instead of doing that in green, I'm going to drop my green, pick up my color A, my cream color here to finish off my slip stitch. Yeah, and now we're ready for round eight. Switch those colors, we did a chain one, and I'm just gonna keep on continuing on. Okay, we are going to do, uh, we're gonna start with three back loop singles, one front loop double, two back loop singles. Okay, but really, so that's kind of what the repeat is. Um, what I should have done, <laughs> anyway. So what it's going to end up being is uh, we're going to start with three back loops, then one front loop, and then we're going to do like five back loops, then one front loop. So it's going to be very similar to what we just did, um, but it's just going to be offset a little bit. Okay, so that'll make sense here in just a moment. So we're going to do three back loop single crochet. And then in this empty space here, no, nope, sorry, right above that empty space, we're going to work into the white. The front loops done in white are going to be in the front loops of the white. So you're going to do one. And then to finish off that you know, repeat, you're going to do two more. Then you're going to start again doing three single crochets in the back loop. But if you add two plus three, that's five. Okay. <laughs> Math. And then one front loop double. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do a little fit check and we'll see that this is starting to come up around there. Wondering if, since this yarn is a little bit slippery than my other yarn, I'm wondering if I should have gone down a hex size. Okay. 
And five back loop singles. And one front loop double. Front loop double, and then instead of five, we're ending instead of doing five back loops, we are ending with two back loops. <laughs> there we noticed that's my funky yarn. Sorry about that, it's not very good for professional video. You all know I'm not really professional, I just do the best I can here. Okay, and then we're going to do our slip stitch. Just slip stitch off with color B to go on to round nine. Round nine is going to be a repeat of round seven. Um, I think. So we repeat of round seven, and what we do is a front loop, front loop double, and then five back loop singles. Oops. Skin ahead of myself. Okay, front loop double, back loop singles for five. Five back loop singles, then one front loop double. Okay, and you can see we're getting our little crosses here, Some little plus signs. Isn't it really cool how with overlay mosaic crochet, you just use one color at a time and then you kind of get these really fun color works, but you're just doing stranded work. I think that's awesome. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit big, but not really. It'll be fine. It would just be fine. This is not like amigurumi where you know it needs to be stuffed properly. This is a Christmas ornament. And it really it won't be very big at the end. Yep. So this is what I do for a fit check. Okay. Do your fit check, and if you think it's way too big, then start again with a smaller hook size. Just realize this is crochet. We all crochet a little bit different and handmade ornaments is just unique and you just do the best you can and then once you make one you can just keep making them however you know your hook size fits mm. kind of a slippery hook with a slippery yarn okay we're going to go back here Beginning, we're doing a slip stitch and pick up our color A again for the next round. I should have been marking off what round I'm on because now I'm going to get confused. I think we're on round 10. Round 10 with color A. We're going to go back to our 
uh, repeat of three stitches, and this is a repeat of round six. Where in our first stitch, we're going to do a back loop only single crochet, and then two front loop only double crochets. Do, do, do. Okay, and repeat that one back loop single, and then two front loop doubles. Or should I say one front loop double in the next two stitches? Don't do them in the same stitch, just in the next two stitches. Okay. You notice that really makes our plus signs stand, oh, <laughs> kind of lining up, sorry. That really makes our front loop stitches stand out. And then we have you know, these little dots, but in this case, this one's empty, but here we're going to be working our next plus sign. Okay, does that make sense? Sorry, two front loop doubles. Back loop single. Front loop double, back loop single, front loop double, front loop double, back loop single, front loop double, front loop double. Loop single, front loop double, front loop double, back loop single, front loop double, front loop double, back loop single. So just over and over and over again. Double. Oh, I thought we were at the beginning. Oh, got a couple more. There we are. Now we're ready to do our slip stitch. Drop the color A, pick up the color B. And chain one. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready for round 11. 11, we're gonna do very similar to round eight. And that's where we're gonna do our three back loop singles one front loop double, two back loop singles, then three back loop singles. So just off-centered a little bit where we're really going to be doing five singles, one double, five singles, one double, but we're just off-centering it a little bit. So we're going to do three, one, two. Back loop single, back loop single, front loop double, And five back loop singles. Of course, we're using the US terms here. Front loop single, then five back. Oh, sorry, I said front loop single. I meant back loop single, of course. Five back loop singles. Front loop double. And then you can see we have the bottom leg of our plus signs that we're creating right here. Three, 
Sing or front loop double. One. So we're doing our back loop singles. Three, four, five. Front loop double. Then we're going to end with two back loop single crochets and drop that behind to our slip stitch where we're going to grab color A for row round, I should say round 12. Round 12, this is going to look familiar, where we're going to, in our first stitch here, do a front loop double crochet. So I was like a half double. Front loop double crochet. And then five back loop singles. Four, five. One front loop double. That is going to be worked right above that other plus sign. One. Two, three, four, five back loop singles, one front loop double, five back loop singles, one front loop double, oops, one, two, three, four, I only did four you guys, five. One front loop double. Okay, now you can see your plus signs are coming together quite nicely. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Remember the sixth stitch? I haven't been saying it. Sixth stitch is our front loop double. Ending with five. What is happening here? One, two, jeepers creepers. Back to the beginning. Drop our color A, pick up color B with our slip stitch, and chain one. Round 13, we just have two more rows of this mosaic and then we're going to close. Cute, right? Around 13, we've done this before and we're going to do it again where we're going to do three back loop singles, one front loop double, two back loop singles. We're going to go three, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, basically, and then end with the um, two, two single crochets. One, two, three single crochet. And then so our front loop doubles are going to finish off our plus signs. That top little leg. And now we do five back loop singles. And one front loop double. Five back loop singles, one front loop double. 
pretty repetitive here. It makes this a pretty beginner-friendly overlay mosaic crochet pattern. And that's the end of round 13. We're going to slip stitch, pick up our color A. Okay, and we are done with color B. If you want, you can um, cut that off and, you know, work in the round, uh, work over your ends. But really, I'm just going to keep my ends inside this little bobble. This is not amigurumi, really, where you're just playing with stuffed animal and things are going to unravel. This is just an ornament and this is not going to unravel. Okay. Chain one with our color A. And now we're just working with color A for the rest of the bobble. We have one more mosaic, um, pat, you know, one more mosaic round. And here we're going to do one single, two double, one front loop single. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One back loop single crochet, two front loop double crochet. And we're just hiding our last, uh, we're just hiding, covering over our green that we don't want to be seen here. So really that's, in case you haven't noticed, the front loop stitches front loop stitches are the ones where you want to hide the color that you don't want in your colorway, color work. Okay, so we did one back loop single, two front loop doubles, one back loop single, one, two back front loop doubles, one front loop. Ah, I'm getting my fronts and my backs mixed up. I'm sorry. You know that all of our singles are worked in the back loop only and all of our doubles are worked in the front loop only. So there's mosaic rounds. So one back loop, single, two front loop doubles. I think this yarn is throwing off my gauge. I feel like my bobble's a little bit big. It'll be all right. This is just a lesson in always check your gauge. <laughs> but we don't really have a gauge in these ornaments. You just see what fits your ornament. Maybe I should have a gauge. Okay. Remember we're doing one back loop single, two front loop doubles. One front loop single, two back loop doubles. Doing that all the way around. Mm. 
and we're ending with two front loop doubles. Slip stitch to join, but we're not switching colors. Remember, we are just keeping our color. Our color A. I'm going to fast. I'm going to do, do. That's going to stay in there. Okay. Okay. So now, ready for round 15. This is a good place where you're going to insert your bobble and you're going to work. Um, we're going to work on decreasing and closing up this bobble. Okay, so round 15, chain one, and the first two stitches you're going to work a single crochet one, two, two single crochets, and then you're going to do a decrease. So your decrease is you're going to work in the next two stitches, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. So now you have two loops here. And then you're going, instead of uh, finishing off your single crochet, what you're going to do is insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. And then you have th three loops on your hook. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all those. So for your decrease, you're just working like a single crochet in the next two stitches, or maybe single crochet two together as another way to put it. Uh, but you're going to do single crochet in one, single crochet in the next, and then in that the third and fourth, you're gonna do a decrease. Okay. So single crochet, one, single crochet in the next, and then in the next two, you're gonna do your decrease. So insert your hook through one stitch, pull the yarn through, Insert your hook in the next stitch, pull yarn through, and yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that's your decrease. Maybe you already know that, but I just thought I would show those who don't know. Two. And so we're going to be decreasing from 36 stitches to 27. Kind of awkward to crochet around the bobble, but I have you insert it here so that there's just room. One, two, decrease, single, single, decrease. Single, single, decrease, single, single, decrease. Do, do, do. Single, single, to finish her off, we're doing A. Decrease. And then we're back at the beginning. So I do a slip stitch to join. And now for round 16, chain one. Round 16, you're going to do a single. Crochet. I think here I did them in the back loop only I just realized. Uh, you can do them in back loop or you can just do them in both loops. For this one, I did them in both loops, I think. What did I do? Might have done back loop only. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> if you want texture, you do back loop only. If you don't want texture, do front loop or both loops. Okay, one. So you're going to do one single crochet and then you're going to do a decrease. So every other stitch, you have a decrease. Okay. Decrease. Okay. Next stitch, 
single crochet, then a decrease. Just find those loops to work under. Be patient and just know. Just find your next stitches. Single, decrease. Single. So now we're decreasing from 27 stitches to 18 stitches. This yarn is kind of slippery and a bit stretchier than my other yarn. I could have maybe inserted the bobble on this round, but you just do it work, whatever works for you. So just alternating between single crochet and your decrease, then single crochet and your decrease all the way around. Maybe you can guess what our last and final round is going to be. Did you guess? Yes, our last round is going to be a decrease in every stitch. I'm just jumping ahead of myself a little bit. Did I mess up a little bit? Maybe you saw if I messed up because I feel like I have an extra stitch here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to just slip stitch to join. You know, I don't get too bothered by stuff like this. Okay, and I know I'm doing a tutorial, so I'm sorry if I mess y'all up. So now we should have 18 stitches, and we are going to be ready to do our last and final round, round 17. We chain one, still using color A, and we're going to decrease in each stitch around. So each stitch to decrease. To do a decrease again, I'm going to just show you. Insert your hook through the stitch, pull yarn through with two loops here. Insert your hook through the next stitch, pull yarn through. We have three loops, yarn over, pull through all those loops. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way around. You should end up with nine stitches. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm really glad that you stuck with me this long. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I have other... Oh, look at that, that's so cute. It's not really that big. Just a little bit looser, but it's fine, people. Okay, uh, did I slip stitch? even at the end. Yep, right there's the end. So I haven't substitute yet. Because I think I did indeed jump a stitch or add a stitch or something. So sorry everybody. <laughs> okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fasten off with somewhat of a long tail snip and then secure here. Then I'm ruffling over here for a little yarn needle. Thread your yarn needle and we're going to weave along those stitches around. Okay, so what I do, I'm going to do like a whip stitch. So through each stitch here. I'm just going from the outside in towards the center of the bobble. Each, each stitch, each stitch around. Just 
I'm going off screen a little bit. My last one. And then once I get to the end, I pull that tight. Pull that tight around the top of the bobble. And then if you want to, well, you probably do want to. You're going to just tie a little knot. Secure it. Again, unless you have like wild and crazy kids like I do, <laughs> my kids will probably like toss these around like they're, you know, basketballs or something. Um, but this shouldn't come undone. So just ornaments you put on your tree to keep pretty. Then I insert the yarn down yonder. I pull that tight a little bit and then snip, heaving my tail inside. And there. See, this is this is kind of the back side. But what do you think? I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to see pictures of your makes if you tag me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. You can also share pictures inside of the Juniper and Oaks Crochet Community Facebook group. Um, we'd love to see pictures. If you are joining this uh, with part of the Crochet Along ornament event with Joanna from High Desert Yarn, please join her Facebook group and share pictures of your ornament there as well. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, if you're not already, please subscribe to this channel for all sorts of yarn related content. Hit that little bell and you will be notified whenever I release a new video. Please leave a comment with whatever colors you made your ornament in and um, any questions that you have and I'll try to answer them, okay? Thank you guys, thank you so much and we will talk to you later. Bye.